In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to show you how to design your own starting effect for a title when you don't find exactly what you want in the presets that are available in the title designer. I wanted to bring some subtitles into this clip in a certain way, and none of the presets would do that. We're going to show you what I could have done with a preset and how I did something else in a different fashion in this tutorial. But first I'd like to show you a clip and as you look at the clip please pay attention to the three white titles and how they came in on the screen. I'm going to go to the title that I dropped on track number two that has the name of my firm and I can press the F2 key or double click to get into my title designer. Now here is where I want to add some subtitles. Now normally when you do that a subtitle will inherit the characteristics of whatever title you had, have had on the screen before. So I'm going to click on the T or I can simply double click in the preview area to see what I have. So I'll just click on the T. It will create another title and I will call this one Immunology. You notice how it inherited what we had on the screen before. Now I'm going to put some grid lines on the screen so I click below the preview screen on the box with a dotted line and I have an option called grid lines. Unfortunately they don't show on the screen but I'm putting some grid lines on and now you can see them. I'm going to change the nature of this title by double clicking on it. We're going to change the font color to a solid color and it's going to be white. We're going to change the size to 24. I'm going to change the font family here. I will use Arial Black and I already inherited a border and my border in this case was a size of 1 with a color of black. I like that. I also had a shadow. The shadow is to the lower right. It's black as well and the distance of the shadow is 1. I'm going to keep both of those characteristics of my font. Now what I want to do is move it over. Now I'll create another one. So I click again and the second title I'm going to create is called Virus Identification. And then I'll click away from there and then I'll click a third one by clicking again. We'll call the third one Vaccine Development. And now we'll have to space them accordingly. So I'll click on the first one and I'll move it up about a half a block there. I'll take the second one and align it and the third one as well. Now each of them I think should go a little bit to the left or I'm going to squeeze out the last one so we'll move halfway between those, those blocks in each case. That's why I like the grid lines. That looks pretty good. Now what I want to do is move them. Now you notice I have these three new title tracks in CyberLink PowerDirector. Each of them I could move in by using a preset. Let's take Immunology for example. Go to the Effect tab on the left side and then click on starting effect. Now when I drag down to my options there's one that's closest to what I would like. It would be a slide up. But if I click it and then apply that and see it's not applied yet. Now it is. You see what happens. We're going to play the clip I don't want it moving across the other letters and I don't want the other letters there. But I'm not too happy with the slide up because it starts at the bottom of the screen and it's too long. So what we're going to do for the first one is we're going to move it in by one second. I'm a 30 frames per second project here. So we'll move over to one second into the project. That's where I want it to start. 
Now I don't have to pay attention to this because I'm actually going to remove the entire preset. I don't want to use that one. I'll click on the X and now when I click back here it says no effect. I'm going to take the second title. We'll move that in so it starts in at two seconds. The third one we're going to start in three seconds. Most professional titles don't take long to get onto the screen. This is about as long as I'm comfortable with, maybe a second and a half in some situations. If I don't want them to come in during the preset, but do it another way, let me show you what I developed. I'm going to click on the arrow to the right of track two of the word immunology for that title. That will open up my position, scale, opacity, rotation, my keyframes. I'm going to keyframe the title. That will give me the kind of look and feel I'm, I want in this project. Now it starts here, approximately one second in. I want to go to the two second mark, and we'll nudge it over, and at two seconds I'm going to set a position and scale and opacity keyframe. All three. Then I'm going to move back to the beginning of the clip and set the same three keyframes. Okay, I want to make sure that at that one second in it's exactly where I positioned it on the screen, but to start with it won't be. To start with, I'm going to take the position value and actually move it down about a half a block. And if you want to be extremely precise in this, we go back to our Object tab on the left, and we go to our Object Settings at the bottom. And that's where we can control the X, Y position. I could be very, very sharp on this if I wanted to use those particular values. We'll just eyeball it for now. The other thing I want to do is I want to change the scale when it starts. Here I'm going to use a slider. The scale starts at 100%. I'm going to back it down to maybe 69. Again, you can type in the value here if you want to be precise. I'm maintaining the aspect ratio. I'm also going to make sure I'm on this same moment in my title. I'm going to take the opacity value and start it out at zero. And so what will happen will be, for this particular title only, it will start out somewhat shrunken, a little bit lower, and invisible. I'm going to click on OK. And we're going to go back to the movie, and you'll see what difference it made by basically creating my own starting effect with keyframes. You notice how it came in. That's what I wanted. I didn't want it to slide in from the bottom of the screen. I wanted it to grow slightly. I wanted it to happen very quickly. Let's go back to that same title. And we'll take the second one we're, we're going to use. Virus identification. I can actually minimize the keyframes on title on track number two. We'll open them on track number three. It's going to start again approximately at two seconds in. And now we'll create position, scale, opacity keyframes. I'll move to three seconds in. And we'll do position, scale, and opacity. I want to make sure I don't change these values, so I click on the left arrow to get me to my other set. Again, on position, we're going to start out by lowering it. and we're going to change the opacity and the scale values. I'll dial my scale back to 69 and my opacity value to 0 and that looks good. Now we'll go to the third one. We'll open up the keyframe settings for that particular title and simply do the same process where we set two keyframe values 
move over a second and you could make this shorter or longer depending on how you want the effect to look. And we'll set the values again. Move back and then the first three we change. We're going to take the position lower it just a little bit. Here it doesn't matter if it's off the screen, it's going to come in anyway. We'll take the scale value, go back to our 69 to make it uniform, and then our opacity, we'll dial that back to zero. Click on OK. So now I've applied the same values to all of the three titles without using a starting effect from the presets. When I click on the movie and begin to play it, I get precisely the effect I'm looking for by using keyframes and customizing it myself.